Cats and Paul for the locker room. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. We're trying to reach 1,500 subscribers for the end of the month. And let's get into it. The Nashville Predators are currently 7-1-2 and two in their last 10 games and on a four-game winning streak. Things are not looking too bad in Smashville. They are currently sitting fourth in the wildcard race. That being said, they have three games in hand on all teams ahead of them and only trail one point behind Edmonton for second place in the wildcard. Nashville is a team that is kind of going underneath the radar. And I think some of the reasoning for that is they don't have a bona fide superstar on their team. But what they have is a lot of high quality stars. Philip Forsberg this season in 39 games played, 16 goals, 20 assists for 36 points. He is leading the charge, but did not be forgotten. Matt Duchesne has 30 points in 38 games with 11 goals and 19 assists. Ryan Johansson has 9 goals and 11 assists for 20 points in 39 games played. And then you also have, on your third line, Nito Niederreier with 22 points in 39 games played with 12 goals, 10 assists, and Michael Granlin with 25 points in 39 games played with 4 goals, 21 assists, the playmaker of that line. The offense wouldn't overwhelm you. And to be quite frank, Nashville is one of the lower scoring teams in the NHL. But I think their team philosophy with defense and even good goaltending is what makes them a threat. Because we all know when a goalie gets hot, especially in the playoffs, it can be a lethal combination. And let's talk about that defense. Ryan McDonough in 32 games played, one goal, nine assists for 10 points with a plus 13, which is best in the decor. So he's definitely doing his thing. Roman Yossi. In 39 games played, 10 goals, 22 assists for 32 points. He's being that big point producer that is usually in the Norris conversation. Now, his plus minus is a zero, so not amazing, but not terrible either. Matthias Ekholm, with 39 games played, has four goals, 10 assists for 14 points. Alexander Carriere, in 33 games played, two goals, three assists for five points. And then you have Jeremy Lazan and Dante Fabro with five and seven points, respectfully. So their defense, they have put a lot of money. Wrote... Yossi with 9 mil, McDonough with 6.75, Ekholm with 6.25, even Lazan and Fabro with 2 mil and 2.4 mil. I mean, that is a lot of money to put towards your defense. In some ways, it is paying off because Nashville is tied for third for goals against in the Western Conference. So it kind of goes along with their philosophy of spending money on the defense. Unfortunately, some of those guys they paid up front, they're producing, but outside of the big paid guys, not much production. So hopefully that can be turned around throughout the season. And it seems like recently they're seeing an uptick in scoring. And let's go into the main reason why I think the Nashville Predators are such a dangerous team. UC Soros. He had a lot to take over when Peke Rene retired. People doubted him because of his 5'11 height, but he has proven the doubters wrong. In 30 games played, 15 wins, 10 losses, five overtime losses, and one shootout loss for a 2.67 goals against and a 9.21 save percentage. In a game in which he played at Carolina, he had 64 saves on 67 shots against. UC Soros, when he is on, is one of the best goalies in the world. Throw the height, throw the prototypes out the window, he is fantastic. Regardless if he's 5'11 or 6'5, I would say when he's on his game, you're not going to find much better in goal than UC Soros. Not to be forgotten is his backup, Kevin Lankinen, who has had a very solid season. 10 games played, 4-4-2, four, four, with a 2.82 goals against and a 9.18 save percentage. And that is important that Nashville has two goaltenders that they can turn to and feel confident in every night. Lankinen last season had a very rough season with an 891 save percentage of 3.50 goals against in Chicago, but I'm not going to fully blame that on him. The team in front of him wasn't great. You put him behind a stable decor and a 918 save percentage with a 2.81 goals against. Yes, it's 10 games, but that is still really good and your backup is giving you a chance to be in every single one of those games and that is all you can ask for. So what are my thoughts about Nashville being able to sneak into the playoffs? Well, like I said, recently they have been on a massive hot streak and that is fantastic. You definitely want Nashville to benefit from that. That being said, the lack of offensive punch does worry me. The teams in front of them like St. Louis, Edmonton, and Calgary, while they do have games at hand, Calgary and Edmonton I would say have far better offenses and even just teams within their own division. 
in the Central, Dallas, Winnipeg, and Minnesota have far more potent offenses as well. So if Nashville's going to have any shot in hell of making a wild card spot and getting to the playoffs, they're going to need a little bit more uptick in scoring. And when I look at this lineup, I'm hoping guys like Colton Sissons and Cody Glass can maybe have an uptick in their offensive production to give more secondary scoring. I feel like that's gonna be the most important thing for these Predators to make it to the Stanley Cup playoffs. While they are on a hot streak, it is very hard for me to buy into them getting a wild card spot. I love their defense, I love their goaltending, but their offense worries me. I mean, it's kind of the flip side of a team like Edmonton where their offense is prolific, and their defense is really lackluster. I just don't know if Nashville has enough offense to beat these top end teams. So as of right now, I don't see them making the playoffs, but I wouldn't be surprised if they somehow snuck in there, especially if some of their underrated guys start turning it up. Let me know down below your thoughts. Can Nashville make the playoffs or not? I'm Captain Paul for the Locker Room. If you haven't already, I appreciate it if you subscribe. We're trying to reach 1,500 subscribers before the end of the month, and I'll see you in the next video. Towards the goal, glove save from Talbot. As time expires, it's a 3-0 Predators win.